Hey everyone, welcome to another 1-6 unboxing and review. Today we have a clothing accessory set by PP Toys. This one is called the Gangster World War II British Vintage Suit. Presumably it's loosely based on the fashion and costuming of the popular TV show Peaky Blinders. The set comes in four different color combinations. Black coat with a black suit, black coat with a dark gray suit, a brown coat with a blue suit, and a brown coat with a light gray suit. The one I ordered here is the black suit with the black coat. This accessory set comes in a simple box with the different versions printed on the front. It also comes with a pre-order bonus pocket watch. Opening the box, we see that all the parts here are packaged separately in small bags. Let's take a look at everything out of the box. We have the suit and pants. It looks like there's a shirt and belt as well as a tie in this bag. A pair of shoes. A flat cap. The black overcoat. and the pocket wash. Here's everything out of the packaging so we take a closer look at each of the pieces. There are the pants. The jacket, which has tiny buttons sewn on which are functional but will require some patience to button up if you decide to do so. The shirt, which has decorative buttons and is attached by Velcro. The vest also uses Velcro. Here's the pocket watch. It does have a bit of weight to it, so I'm not sure if there's some die cast in it. The chain itself is metal and a little decorative piece on the other end. The tie has an elastic on this end to hold onto the neck. The shoes are plastic molds with holes for ankle pegs. The belt, which looks fairly standard. The flat cap. The overcoat has red lining inside and small functioning buttons like the jacket. There's also a metal wire that runs along the sides and bottom of the coat for posing.
Here I'm using a putter out easy and simple body and head to model the suit. Overall it was fairly easy to assemble. Area I had a bit of trouble was getting the wrist through the cuffs on the shirt because it appears it was sewn together. I also had to warm up the shoes with a hairdryer so that the ankle pegs can slot in. The flat cap fits fairly nicely on this particular head sculpt, but it looks like it has enough room to fit over sculpted hair as well. Thank you.